think you're the, the only one I would be able to ask this question. You're not American. That is correct. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fair statement. <laughs> um, so, I mean, your background, your history, it's just different. I mean, yeah. when I lived in Israel, there was doing the work, but then there was also understanding who I was working with. Huh. And it's a steep learning curve. It is. What is the question? The question is, how do... I guess the question is, how do you do it? <laughs> oh. Wait, I mean, what's... Well, how do you do it? This is really not... This is like going to the gym. Oh. You go to the gym every day and your body's, you know, mm -hmm. you got big muscles. The same, you know, I've been working in many countries and living in many countries. I've, I've moved my house many times. Uh, hope one day I'll stop, but I mean, that's what I've done. So, and you start in your own country, so you go from one city to another city. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a young guy, it's a big exercise. I can see this with my son now. My son is 13, and he moved from, from U.S. to Italy, from Italy to U.S. And, uh, and you see the guy, how it socially becomes smart, and you understand, you know, what is the right thing to do, who to talk to, who not to talk to. And when you're, they are young, they have different KPIs than what we have. But I mean, that is exactly what they do. And you do this in, in everything you do. Now, we work a lot in China, for example. And uh, I, am, I am happy that we work in China. Not, not only because it's you know, one of the most important markets today, but because that society is changing right now. And you have a billion four people that is experiencing something new every day. So you go there and it's, and it's fantastic. You got these people that finally go on vacation, that they, you know, they, they have a normal life like, like us. And it's fantastic. Now, when you work in China, they have their own culture. So how do you deal now? You go there and blend, so you become Chinese or you do not. My opinion, and it's, you know, my opinion, so I could be completely wrong. But you don't become Chinese. You respect China and you try to understand and to know as much as you can about China. And this, of course, works with everything, okay? US, mm -hmm. China, Africa. But don't forget who you are and where you come from. When people work with you and say, hey, you are in China, you have no idea how we do things. And you say, I know, but I'm, I'm American. Actually, I'm Italian American, even worse. So we do things our way. So let's find a common ground. Mm -hmm. So never do it the way they do it. Never pretend that they do the way you do it. So you have to, you know, mediate all the time. So I think that our society has changed. If I think about my grandfather, idea of our grandfathers was you go in a country and you invade the country. You, know? you want everybody to become Italian or American. Or, we don't do that any longer. We, we, we are better people for that for, for, mm -hmm. for some reason. So you go in a country, you try to, to, to understand, you try to blend but not to change who you are. And uh, that's how it works in my opinion. And this then comes on, on small things like you are, you are in your office and in H0, I think we have people from, I don't remember how many, but many, many countries. And it's this fantastic mail pod. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a lot of people talking different languages. We all try to speak English and we all don't speak English very well, which is, which is kind of fun. I think that's brilliant. I mean, really just the exercise, the gym analogy to your son, to, uh, I know that um, just exercising that adaptability. Indeed. And that empathy. Sure. I mean, you're exercising empathy in terms of I'm more interested in you than being interested in how maybe uncomfortable I feel. Exactly. Because for exactly. me, going to the grocery store was uncomfortable. I couldn't read the labels. I didn't know if I was buying flour or baking soda. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. But that is more than uncomfortable. Right? <laughs> yeah, I was so out of my so, element. It's also dangerous. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but there was this aspect of, okay, I could be really frightened by this or I can embrace it. Sure. And I can, I do love the, that your thought of you do not have to be, you know, this culture because for them it's going to feel like a put on or it might feel like you're um, but insulting them. Probably, in but you know, difficult. Uh, every, every person, first of all, there is, there is this terrible attitude that we all have. I've had it too, by the way, to stereotype, to use stereotype. Right. And you don't have to, you know, you deal with individual and individual maybe like the stereotype or maybe not. Because mm -hmm. they have a personal life that, you know, maybe 
you know what I'm saying is 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 there is no one rule. Unfortunately, you got to be very 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 open to to. And, and by the way, it's the fascinating stuff of our job. You go there and you don't know what is happening. Right. I love that actually. You thrive with that. Oh, I mean, I'm super happy when I go. To, when I go, I mean, I, most of the, many time happened to me that I have a meeting and you know my assistant says, "Who are you meeting with?" I, I don't remember the name. He's gonna pick me up at two p.m. over there. What do you do? Oh, I don't know. We gotta talk about something. And I love that actually because otherwise life is boring. Right, <laughs> right. Boring. We'll figure it out yeah, when we we'll get there. It out. Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean. When there are two people, uh, and this could be a contract, an agreement, uh, or you know, a social event. There, had, there must be an agreement. If one of the two doesn't agree, you just, just, just go. You just go a different direction. Just and it's the option that we all have. And if you don't like something, just go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty it's so simple. Easy. You don't have to. I mean, no. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I. What's interesting is that we've had a lot of interviews. We've done a lot of interviews within this yeah. series. And every CEO and COO and CMO that we've talked to who have had decades in whatever industry and business that they're in, they all come back to the human aspect Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. You can There's talk about the, the, the product, you can talk about you know, the financials of it, but they all come back to the right people or just the social awareness. Well, but that is the luxury of interviews like yours. I mean, you're not, uh, you're not you know, financial journalist, whatever it is. You yeah. don't want to know, you know, the, uh, the return on investment or that, right. that we know. I mean, we work on that every morning. I'll grill you on that later. <laughs> well, let, let's see if I can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it, it's funny how, you know, left to talking about what they actually care to talk about, it always sure. comes back to humans. Sure. And the human aspect of sure. everything that goes Absolutely. into that good to great yeah. type of company.